Gennady Golovkin provided the fans who came to see his Cinco de Mayo fight Saturday with an extended introductory stroll around all four sections of Sub Hub Center. The unbeaten, three-belt middleweight champion then proceeded to make short work of Glendale's Vonis Martirosian, a heavy nine-punch flurry knocking out the challenger just 1 minute 53 seconds into the second round. Advertisement by matching Bernard Hopkins' record of 20 consecutive middleweight title fights without a loss, Golovkin, 3-8-0-1, 34 knockouts, let it be known he, absolutely, wants Canelo Alvarez next on sept. The rematch with Mexico's popular former two-division champion, originally scheduled for Saturday, was scrapped last month after it was revealed Alvarez submitted two positive samples for the band performance-enhancing substance Clenbuterol. He was suspended for six months by the Nevada Athletic Commission. Advertisement Golovkin, 36, mostly had his way with the replacement fighter through the first round until he was backed up by a left hand from Martirosian. I knew this was a serious fight, then, Golovkin said. The second round was all business, former light middleweight Martirosian didn't respond well to a hard right hand that rocked him to the ropes, and Golovkin followed with two lefts and two powerful power punches to the head that set up a finishing combination as the challenger crumbled to the mat. It was like being hit by a train, said Martirosian, the 1st of April 36. It's the hardest I've ever been hit, advertisement Gennady Golovkin reacts as Vanis Martirosian is counted out in a second round knockout. Harry Howe, Getty Images The announced 7,837 in attendance were thrilled by the return of Golovkin's knockout power. He reverted to his dominant ways after a streak of 23 consecutive knockouts had been stopped in his last two bouts, a unanimous decision over Daniel Jacobs and a draw with Alvarez. If he's ready, I'm ready at any time, Golovkin said of Alvarez. I've been the champion for nine years. I have lots of belts. I want anyone to come and try to take my belts. I don't care who it is, with that, Golovkin strapped on his newly revised, Special World Boxing Council Cinco de Mayo themed belt and told the crowd, Happy Cinco de Mayo. Everyone, unbeaten unified welterweight champion Cecilia Breakhus, appearing in the first women's fight televised live by HBO, survived getting knocked down by Callie Reese to gain a unanimous decision victory. Judges scored at 97 to 92, 96 to 93, 96 to 93 for Norway's Breakhus, 33 to 0, who doesn't possess world-class knockout power and was dealing with a converted middleweight. In the seventh round, after getting outboxed by the speedier Breakhus, Rees, the 1st of July 13, stunned the champion and thrilled the crowd by dropping her with a hard right hand that landed flush on the jaw. That was fun, Rees said. We were setting her up to be open for the right hand all night long, Rees wobbled Breakhus again in the eighth. Advertisement, she's an amazing, tough fighter and she gave me a very tough close fight, Breakhus said. She's heavier than me. I could feel it in her punches. It was an amazing first women's fight on HBO, and we should do a rematch, for sure. Vanis Martirosian takes a punch from Gennady Golovkin losing in a second-round knockout. Harry Howe, Getty Images, Break who spent all week accompanied by retired unbeaten boxer Lucia Rieker, identifying Rieker as her coach, but when it came to fight at night, she was cornered by former heavyweight Jonathan Banks. Breaker's brilliance was revealed in her early activity and sharpness in the early two-minute rounds. She took advantage of Reese's move down for middleweight, exposing the challenger's slower reaction time to overrule Reese's occasional clean power punches by remaining busy. UFC women's featherweight champion Chris Cyborg appeared at the venue wearing a Cyborg vs. Breakhus 2019 t-shirt. The dominant Cyborg, who defended her belt in bouts in December and March, said she has two fights remaining on her UFC contract, and then will push to fight Breakhus in a boxing match. A boxing fight is my dream, Cyborg said. It's a challenge to myself. I've already done wrestling, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, I never did boxing. And I want to do it against the best in the world. I challenge myself to be the best I can. Earlier, welterweight Ryan Martin defeated Bridus Prescott by unanimous decision scores of 79-71, 79-71, 77-73. Martin, 22-0, knocked down Prescott with a sixth-round body punch after earlier hurting him with a low blow. Lance.Pugmire at LATimes.com Twitter, at LATimes Pugmire.